all right let's pick general pharmacology first and we'll be doing some of the very important topics the first one being ionization basically a topic of chemistry but let's see how it is relevant to pharmacology let me put it this way most of the drugs are either weak acids or weak base that means they exist in ionized or non-ionized form right and the degree of ionization of a drug depends on two things the first one being the pH of environment in which the drug is the second being the pKa value of the drug now let's define pKa pKa is pH at which a drug is 50% ionized and 50% not ionized right so let's take a bunch of drug here if I say a drug is ionized that means it is charged it has either negative charge or positive charge right and this charged molecule cannot cross the biological membrane they are lipid insoluble but they are water soluble the non ionized form of the drug can cross the biological membranes right so they are lipid soluble so here is the takeaway message for you if a drug is ionized it is water soluble it goes along with water of your body and where does the water go out of your body it's the urine right it can be cleared and what about non ionized it can be absorbed from your gut right so it is lipid soluble yeah next slide I want you people to take your time and understand right here is the weak acid and its non ionized form here is the ionized form of weak acid ionized form of weak base non ionized form of weak base so question and which medium will a weak acid be in its non ionized form acidic or base yeah the acidic medium if you put an acid in an acid no reaction it will be in its non ionized form what about base? If you put a base in a base, no reaction, it will be in its non ionized form. You are done with these two. You already got answer for this one. If you put a base in an acid, they are going to react and you'll have an ionized form. A acid in a base, you are, they are going to react and you'll have an ionized form. So, can you name a drug which has acid in the name? They are already weak acid acetyl salicylic acid aspirin right a giveaway it is a weak acid barbituric acid right phenobarbiton again a weak acid penicillins and cephalosporins and diuretics loops and thiazide these are the least list of drugs which you got to know that they are weak acid if you know that aspirin is a weak acid you could probably know the treatment of overdose of aspirin same is the list for weak bases local anesthetic being the most important if you know that they are weak base you could probably know the mechanism of action by which the local anesthetic work morphine right atropine amphetamine and pcp pcp is fencyclidin also popularly known as angel dust these both are drug of abuse if you know that they are weak base you could probably judge the treatment for them treatment for overdosage right so here is again the takeaway message for you you put acid in an acidic environment acid in an acid not ionized it is going to be absorbed it is lipid soluble acid in a base it is going to react ionized it goes through your water it goes through your pee right base in an acid goes through your pee it is cleared base in a base not ionized it is going to be absorbed right all right so here is the next one now for drug if you have a drug inside your blood it has two possibilities the first being it can be protein bound and the protein bound drugs cannot be filtered through the glomerulus right a free drug can go inside the glomerulus right it can be filtered so it is a good size filter it can differentiate from a large size and a small size as compared to the charge filtering right it cannot know that if a drug is ionized or non ionized it filters both of them so tbos are very good you know uh, the glomerulus is very good size filter it can know whether it's large or the small but it cannot know if it is charged or no right so it filters both of them now question what will the fate of the drug 
if it is non ionized non ionized no charge it is going to be absorbed back right it is a lipid soluble or it can be secreted back right as compared to ionized form of the drug it cannot go out it has to be excreted through your urine right so here is the message to you if you manipulate the ph of the tubule you can play a game with ionized and non ionized form of the drug here's the importance if you have a patient with an aspirin toxicity that means large amount of aspirin will be filtered in the kidney tubules if you want to excrete them out switch the kidney tubule fluid to basic medium so you have an acid in a base that will ionize and ionize will pee out right that's the um the way how you treat the aspirin toxicity same for amphetamine and fencyclidine angel dust drugs of abuse they are weak base you have overdose acidify the urine Now, by the way how do you alkalinize the urine that is by sodium bicarbonate and you acidify the urine by ammonium chloride or vitamin c so the opposite works right if you have a toxicity of a drug which is a weak acid alkalinize the urine if you have a toxicity of a drug which is weak base acidify the urine right this slide just to make sure that you have understood the concept of ionization if let's say a drug has a pka value of 5 now what will be the condition of a weak acid if you put them in a ph say let's 3 it will be ionized or non ionized a weak acid in a ph of 3 having pka of 5 obviously it will be not ionized acid in an acid right same applies for when you put an weak acid in a ph of 7 it is going to be ionized if a weak base has a pa kpka value of 5 if you put them in a say ph of 3 weak base in an acid is going to be ionized and in this ph it is going to be not ionized right now here lies the clinical importance the hepatic encephalopathy is a condition in which your liver is cirrhosis then you know now, now your liver cannot detoxify the ammonia which is accumulating inside your body ammonia being the weak base now your strategy should be that you convert this ammonia into its ionized form so that it goes out of your body the way by which we do is you give lactulose lactulose by gut bacteria here are the gut bacteria it converts lactulose into lactic acid you have acid you have base right you get ionized form and you get rid of ammonia right here is the way by which we treat hepatic encephalopathy all right so let's do questions together pause the video read the question and mark your answers all right so the ionization is dependent on the pk and ph value of the solution now which of the following statement is not correct right pk of a drug is the ph at which it is 50% ionized absolutely true small ph changes are okay knowledge of pka is yeah of course it is useful you can know if it is going to be absorbed or it is going to be excreted you can know the modality of the treatment it is absolutely true phenobarbital with pka of 7.2 is largely ionized at acidic phenobarbital is a weak acid acid in an acid no reaction it is going to be non ionized right right so this one is the false statement and the answer of the question next one a highly ionized drug is it protein bound you cannot say that is it well absorbed from intestine nope crosses the placental barrier the charge cannot go through the biological membrane it is excreted mainly by kidneys while prescribing a drug the term hs indicates now look hs indicates hora somni right that means you have to take it when you sleep and the answer to this question will be taken at the time of retiring all right thanks for watching